Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Carp Locker Baits. Just a quick uh, recap from last year. Uh, we moved house. Shortly after that, my father-in-law passed away. It was a major blow to the family. Um, we did try and get out and decided to take our roads to the river, but uh, the motivation wasn't there, so there was nothing caught. But we, uh, it was a well-needed break. Um, about a month later, tried to get out on the river on a boat, just did a quick day thing, but the weather was so bad and the wind was pumping, it uh, just dragged me around all over the place. So, so. In October, November month, uh, we had a shutdown at work, so I was kept extremely busy there. It's the busiest time of, our, of the year for us. So between everything that was happening, uh, my laptop packed up on me while I was trying to do the editing of the footage I did have. Um, so I had to wait until the end of November uh, before I could replace it. But by that time, uh, the content of the footage I had wasn't very exciting. And I just thought I'd give you the update now, um, in the beginning of this video, so you guys know what's been happening. So how I found out about this place, uh, one of my customers uh, knew about it and he invited me to come along. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to join me yesterday but he is coming up later this afternoon. Without further ado, then let's uh, move on to the venue we're at. So uh, it's a small um, private farm dam. Um, you can make bookings. I'll leave the details in the description. I uh, got here last night, but it looked like it was gonna rain, some thunder and everything else, so I quickly set up. Um, and then I uh, got two rods out, one uh, just behind me in the lilies and another one on the side of me here. So at around 8 o'clock last night, the rod in the lilies went off, uh, it pulled me into the lily pad, gave it quite a bit of a fight, but um, when I was busy gaining line, eventually my rig snapped, so that one got away, that one was on the bonnet. So I rebaited, um, I put it a little bit further away from the lilies, uh, but uh, through the night uh, nothing happened. So this morning what I'm going to do is go across to the opposite bank and uh, just throw out some uh, feet on that side and drop some lines and then see how it goes from there. Boat and everything's all set up. So uh, check you guys in a bit. Gonna bait up one spot there. We'll put the other rod further down there. Later on we'll try inside, yeah. A little inlet. These are a reject batch of feeders. I've just been pre-soaking them a bit to try and soften them up. Put a couple of them out. Put it a bit before the bait. I don't want to get too close to the lilies, um, just for snagging. So I'm going to pop it under this tree here. Bernard feeders. Nice and soft.
to help the yeast a bit more flavour. Just squash a couple. Fairly deep here. Yeah. There is bass in this dam. Uh, if you guys do come to bass fish, there's some nice sizes. And that's what I will be doing while I'm waiting for the carp to bite. Hit that area, throw out a few bass lures. Right, there we have it, set up. Now we just need the fish to bite. So this is uh, my bass set up. It's a rudder built in I think about 2000, uh, when I was in high school in the late 1998-99. I worked for a tackle shop there called uh, Tackle Craft. Uh, and the owner there got the parts together for me to build. Um, I used to tie flies and uh, make rigs and all sorts of things back then. It was down on the coast. Sadly, he passed away a few years after that. Uh, I'm busy using a hard bait. So we'll see how much I get snagged up. I'll change to plastic soon afterwards. The only thing is uh, my reel's quite old. The back wind doesn't work. So sometimes it falls up and the line gets loose. But we'll see how we go. been quite a few years since I did some bass fishing. Used to do a lot when I was on the coast. Um, Zumbi fishing competition, paddock fishing competition for the guys who know the south coast area. Fish team tackle craft. My original carp name was going to be Baitcraft, after following in that name from the previous shop, but then I discovered there was other things with the same name, so that's where Carp Locker Baits came from. Decided to change it up. Oh wow. Yeah, little ghosty fell on the banat. Uh, 
not the biggest, but uh, very tough to get them. So, there we go. Let's get them back in the water. I'm targeting next to the island there. Eh? How's it, my man? Yeah, How are you? Good, good. Like, this, uh? is, this, is the, this is the canoe. What's happening, man? It's a uh, not too deep, but not too small. Yeah, it's uh, it's Yeah. Oh, that's a quite a decent size yeah, bag. But I'm now stuck in the lilies and the other side of the bike. I had a run just on the sort of left side of the lilies. It went across between the two and the top. But it's not so much a pivot you can do from this to that. And how's it looking around the bend? I've got one just on the left there of the as it goes around. Nothing so far, but I had I picked up a barbel in that little bay there. Yeah. Uh, and then the top I got um, What do you need for the top? The original. Yeah, second one for the day <coughs> landed. Um, had a run earlier and uh, missed it. But yeah, this one uh, wasn't in the water too long. It just rebated and it fell to the bloody spice. So, nice looking fish. But, uh, we're going to get it back in. Cheers. <laughs> So just an update, uh, it's Saturday afternoon, about midday or just after 12, um, a carp of about three and a half, four kilo, according to Khara to estimate the weight. Um, and a bit shortly after that, I hooked into a barbel, um, at a fair size, um, half a meter or 600 mm in length, uh, didn't wait. Uh, Ryan, he's just caught a bass now. Um, so yeah, the weather's been up and down all over the place, so it's made things a bit difficult. We've had thunderstorms and heavy winds and rain, and then it's sun. So yeah. yeah it's still going. It's still going. <sighs> Let's get him off. He's still on, but he's in the reeds. Shit, the boat is off. That's... Oh, I hope he doesn't get Morning guys, it's all heading off, uh, Sunday, uh, woke up with a one red screaming, quickly ran, uh, bit of pandemonium, the uh, net was stuck on the boat, got that, but the boat is now unhooked, and is drifting away, but we'll get it just now, and uh, played the one fish, it's in the net, in the retainer, but at the same time, my far right hand rod also went off, and we're busy playing the second fish. First one was caught on uh, two pieces of corn from the feed bucket. 
And uh, let's get this one in the net quickly. That's not when I come. Gotcha! <laughs> Don't I put that on the stand in case the next one goes? And that'll be a luck. <sighs> Morning guys. Woke up with my uh, middle rod fizzy screaming off. And uh, after quite a nice fight, managed to land the fish. Because, uh, very exciting considering yesterday was a day of uh, no activity. So let's have a look at it quick. Not a bad one. I think it's about the biggest so far for the weekend. Uh, yeah, pretty chuffed with that. Uh, it fell to two pieces of feeding corn that we had, put on the buck on the hook, um, to change it up a little bit. Uh, yeah, hit early hours of the morning. Let's get him back in the water. The right hand rod went off, which is also on the margin the side. And uh, yeah, had to get that first fish in and then hooked up this one, it was still on. After a bit of a fight, it uh, got it in the net. It's not the bigger one, well, it's a smaller out of the two, but still a nice little fatty. So, nice way to start the morning a double up basically. Doesn't happen very often, but yeah, even better to land both of them. And this one fell to the bonnet. Yeah. Got some interesting colors on it. Let's get them back in.
Ryan? Yeah? Come. Go, go, Hey. Here we go. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Thank you. Finally, <laughs> after two, three misses. Two, three misses. Finally, finally got one. one. And it's a nice size. <laughs> I think my shoes even went for that. <laughs> <laughs> and how many times have you targeted that side of the island? <laughs> ah. Out of seven drops, this is the first fish. <laughs> Constantly topping up the feed. Yeah. Nope. Thank you, boy. Hey guys, uh, fishing the little lake today with carp locker baits. Um, first fish for the day. Been persistent on the spot on the island since Friday, since about four o'clock. Um, sometimes persistence is the key in fishing, eh? Not a run until now. Unfortunately, lost one on the same spot last night. But uh, here we go. Nice one for the trip and many more to come. It fell to the coconut dumbbell, my favorite. Uh, let's see how it goes. Cheers, guys. So, guys, uh, quite an interesting session. Um, yeah, got your Thursday set up, everything else. You guys arrived on Friday. What do you think? It was a lacquer session, tough session. Yeah. This little lake uh, we have behind us has really taught us some new things. Taught us some new things, eh? Yeah. Taught us what works also here. Yeah. yeah. So we were quite prepared, but we can prepare ourselves more. Yeah. But fortunately, we have um, carp locker baits on our side, which makes it much easier for us at the same time. So go back home and be prepared for the next one. Yeah. So uh, you uh, got that one finally out the water on the coconut? Yeah, it was uh, quite a tough one, eh? Um, I think we did about seven drops on there. Lost one last night to the lilies. Um, but we prevailed on the same spot, yes. persistence. So guys, one thing I can say is keep working on the one spot. Mm. Let's not chase many different spots. And we can keep trying and then I must say big ups to the coconut. My personal favorite for the, especially on the dumbbell. Yeah. Took a bit of convincing. You might have just got the one, but you got the biggest. So, what, uh, 7.2? 7.2, yeah. yeah. So, we're going to get bigger and bigger and bigger as we go. Mm. So, looking forward to our next meetup. No, no, for sure. For sure, and um, we'll be ready. Yeah. Ryan, unfortunately, only a bass, but you did get a couple of hookups, but they took you straight into the lilies. Right. So we're gonna call you the lily master. <laughs> hey, how many yeah. did you end up in the lilies? One last night, one, one three. Today. 
It's clean totally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not easy. It's uh, quite disheartening, but eventually you'll get them. Um, but this it was a very tough venue. Yeah. Um, but all will prevail. Yeah. Cup locker bits. Hashtag number one. <laughs> and then, yeah, I got uh, two on Friday. Uh, on, it was a banat. I got the barbell on the bloody spice, which uh, can be expected. It is uh, a meaty sort of flavor. And um, yeah, the banat got me another one this morning. Uh, double up, double up. Double up, yeah. But the one was uh, two pieces of corn. Things were getting tough, so we changed it up a bit. So the first thing yeah, was the two grains of corn. That was um, the bigger one out of the two. And then the second one was in the banat. Uh, yeah, so it was five in total, the ghosty earlier. Like a tough but, session, but yeah, uh, very tough. But at the end of that, it was a, a good weekend out and uh, enjoyed ourselves. And yeah, thanks uh, for the invite and everything. Thank you and, yeah. for joining us. Oh, no problem. Thank you. Yeah. See you guys next time. Bye bye, guys. Cheers for now.